So if you're looking to level up extremely fast, gain hundreds of thousands of vigor every single hour and even more so by every single boss item in the entire game, well, I have the video for you. This method is absolutely ridiculous. Well, there are actually three of them you can do right now, all of which start very early so you can literally do this even on a very low level character and get to level 100 in no time in lords of the fallen but all of these three methods i'm about to show you are going to be done very early on right here very close to pilgrim spurge bell room pretty much at the end of the entire section with the platforming you're going to reach this area with the bell so let's get started with a method that's actually legit and should not be fixed. So this is going to again begin at the same bell room and you're going to start with this really annoying bucket head NPC. So these have a pretty good chance to also drop lucky paws plus that vigor that they also drop. The lucky paws can be used later on to increase your drop chance for items which is very useful if you're hunting for specific armor pieces that only drop from specific enemies. I use this and it's a very good method to get quite a lot of them. From this point on, you will just progress down the path until this lake slash water location where you will again take down every enemy for their vigor. Plus, pop in the umbral so that you can access the adjacent path in this area which will bring you in another location with a ton more enemies. Now, from this point on, you're going to reach this moth-like section with the enemies and its ad spawns. You can totally let it just spawn a ton of these smaller ones and gain a few thousand vigor on top but uh, this enemy if you defeat it also has a good chance to drop a lot of vestige moth as well as the vestige seeds so if you're looking for those it can definitely be very helpful to take down these types of enemies from this point on you have this tunnel with explosives you can either set these off with your lamp or just take down the enemies with your sword either way it goes and just progress all the way up there are some items in this location that I totally suggest picking up because they can definitely boost your character. But essentially, once you do all of this, you're going to reach this upper section with even more enemies that you can, of course, again, take down. And in general, if you just defeat everything in this location, including the ranged ones and the bucket enemies, you're going to gain about seven to 8,000, depending on the run, in terms of vigor every single run which is not too shabby in the early stages this is what i was using to gain a few levels so that i could progress a bit better against the bosses coming in at the later stages now if you have any problems with these enemies especially the bigger ones you can just use the ladder go up and then use a heavy jump attack and they should take a huge chunk of their hp this is how i did early on but all in all assuming that you don't fall anywhere this should give you about six point half seven every single run which doesn't take more than a couple of minutes so it's not really that bad actually and quite close to some of the others we're going to talk about in a bit and from this point on you can just drop down the ladder and go back straight to the waypoint it's all connected in a big circle that you can easily do and rinse and repeat this rest and then get back do this until you're satisfied with your leveling and again if the following two methods ever get nerfed this should still be intact now for the next method this is going to give you even more every three minutes or so so this is going to be slightly better this is going to be done just outside past this bucket npc so you will have to pretty much clear everything over here especially these two ranged enemies that are really annoying you don't want them to mess up your farming just now so absolutely make sure you take everybody down and from this point on drop down on this platform and activate your umbral realm from this point on, you're going to want to wait those three minutes until the eye on the right side fully fills. This is going to give you a times three modifier on the vigor that you get, but it will also spawn a death boss that will try to chase you. So just wait until it spawns and what you're going to want to do from this point on is to make it spawn on this platform, on the larger platform right here and make sure that it stays there. From this point on, quickly circle around using these platforms all the way around until you get back to this pole onto the opposite side if you do this the boss will eventually try to attack you that way and fall to its death now in my case i kind of messed it up and it only dropped to the second floor instead of fully dropping at the bottom but it's not a problem you can just pop back on the primary platform make it spawn again in front of you rinse and repeat go back at the pole and then again have it attack you case in which is going to now drop 
and fully die. And this is going to give you all of its umbrals covering as well as the vigor right here in front of you that you can easily go ahead and pick up. Now normally this is something that you can do in probably any location that features disjointed parts or disjointed platforms as long as there is an area for enemies to drop into their death yeah this can definitely be done in almost any situation but this is of course the earliest and the best and this should give you plenty enough like i said every three minutes this enemy will spawn for as long as you linger in the umbral realm and if you just stay on that pole right there it should be quite easy to not get attacked by any other spawning zombies or ghosts or enemies in the vicinity and this ladies and gents brings us to the third and final method the best in the entire game right now and currently completely afk so we will use the same location and the same enemy except that we're gonna head over right here in the back with these suspended platforms which will cause the enemy to drop even easier pretty much in an instant so you're going to want to just activate the one in the middle jump over it and then head over back right there where you will be perfectly suspended from any other adjacent path and no enemy will be able to reach you so what you have to do from this point on is simply just stick a little bit to the edge just in case the enemy auto tracks you and wait from this point on every three minutes the same boss will spawn again on the opposite platform except that what you will notice is that it will no longer appear from the ground and instead instantly die upon spawn as soon as that happens you will spot that red mark on the ground then it will immediately disappear and instead cause all the vigor and the items to drop from it right away you can of course from this point on just go ahead and grab them normally but you can also use your lamp to uh, yeah just vacuum them in by using l1 on the controller i'm not sure exactly what the button is on the keyboard and from this point on you can just wait and wait every three minutes this is going to cause one of these bosses to spawn again and this is going to stack those vigor on top so simply leave this for a few hours and once you come back later you're going to have all of these points that you can immediately collect so in total this should be around 200k vigor every single hour give or take now it could be varying quite a bit so it can go way higher than that but in general this is what you should see plus hundreds of umbrella scouring if you wait in my case i only did it for like 20 to 30 minutes at max and i got a ton of it i think that there's a chance for the boss to drop a lot more umbral scouring maybe even twice from the same boss but uh, this is going to help you a ton for example not just for the leveling because you have the vigor but if you really like the boss items and have the remembrances you can just buy them outright and just like get everything there are some very strong options in there and especially if you want to gain the pieta sword which is 40 umbral scouring from early on this is going to be the fastest method by far and this is going to be done way way before any of the tougher bosses like the flash boss and all the others that follow soon of course also huge props to the users who found these methods you're going to find those links down below i'm not sure exactly who the original um, founder of these methods are some of them i also found them myself when i was playing in the review copy so um yeah you're just gonna have a bunch of links down below that you can follow and totally subscribe to those respective users but yeah this is pretty much it let me know down below if you found any other methods in the game in the meantime i'll see you guys in the next lords of the fallen video